good news uh, out of Washington. It looks like Congress has finally agreed to end the shutdown. Yeah. Now they can stop accomplishing nothing and start accomplishing next to nothing. I don't want to talk about politics today because I've got a great story to tell you. And it's, it's not going to just knock your socks off. It's going to yank your spanks off is what it's going to do. <laughs> Actually, it may just be a so-so story, but it's my show. I can do what I want. So <laughs> here's what I want to talk about. Have you ever had that thing where you, like, you try something once and then you have a really bad experience so you never want to try it again? Yeah. It stays with you. It haunts you. Of course, I'm talking about balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Can anyone else relate to the fear of balsamic vinegar? <laughs> the word balsamic, it sounds Italian and romantic, but it's like anything romantic. It will burn you and make you cry. <laughs> Here's what happened. So Portia and I are out to dinner the other night, and uh, we're having a salad to start, just to mix green with some carrots. And Anyway, so we're having a salad, and um, she had the uh, balsamic and, and, and uh, dressing. And I looked away for a minute, and I looked back, and I see her going, <laughs> and uh, right away, I knew that she was either, it was the balsamic vinegar, or she was doing that Robert De Niro impression that she always does. <laughs> so, and I tried to warn her. I said, do not order the balsamic vinegar. That's why I never have it. I mean, you may call it salad dressing, but I call it the devil's condiment, is what I call it. <laughs> Everyone has something like that, though. That they have a one, one bad experience, and then you're scared for life, like rollerblading or opening the door to your parents' bedroom without knocking. <laughs> you never do it again. It always surprises me what people are scared of. I know people, you know, they have a bad experience with a massage. They don't like it, so they won't do it again. And I can't understand that. They say it tickles, and it, it makes them uncomfortable. And I'm like, just relax and enjoy it, stranger in front of me at Starbucks. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> but I think you have to be open to everything. You can't let one bad experience ruin it. I mean, think of all the things you'll be missing out on. Like, you know, a lot of you here today, you're probably, you know, a long time ago, you didn't like the taste of alcohol. You said, no, uh, alcohol, no, <laughs> you know? And look at you now. You have three kids and you're drunks. So, <laughs> Some of you. I'm going to make sure that your first time at my show is a good one.